guys and welcome to a new episode on this channel. Today we'll be talking about the color blue. This is not blue. The color blue in George and the Blue Moon. Let's get started. So what is this George and the Blue Moon about? Well, this book talks about some of the quantum mechanical fields where George and Annie have been able to sign up for junior astronauts for uh, a mission to a mission to Mars. So a mission to Mars. And then George and then George finds out that both their families, the mom, Annie's mom, and then George's whole other family, including his little sisters, were put into boxes and were onto some kind of spacecraft. It's like, no, not my little sisters. And literally, literally, the rocket blasted off, but before they blasted off, Boltzmann Boltzmann has been able to go there. They met Boltzmann again, has been able to delay, delay the, delay the rocket ship. And also, he also unloaded the rocket cargo. Unloaded the rocket cargo. Then the rocket ship blasted off with Boltzmann and George inside. And then that's where the story ends. But however, here's the interesting thing here. In a lot of the old sci-fi movies that I, I have never watched myself, myself, that I never watched myself, talks a lot about 3D printing. And some people even 3D printed some faces of other people and they transplanted those 3D printed faces onto themselves. And this guy, this guy, George and the, uh, you know, from Alloyf Murak from, uh, from George and the Big Bang, George and the Big Bang, actually George and the Unbreakable Code from the last episode that we talked about, Alloyf Murak has been using a quantum computer to, to try to break all the codes in the world and use it to rule the world. But instead, he gets dissolved. But instead, well, in this book, in this book, George and Annie dissolved him out of the whole world. They teleported him away into the void of nothingness and killed him in the void. There, George, there, there was a lot of things. First, some things are that... Some of the things are that George might have not been the guy that he, that she, that... Might have been the, not the guy who, that Annie might have thought of since he was quantum teleported. But however, there is a lot of things that are make the possibilities that George is actually able to get teleported to. And one of the things that I really want to talk about is about the 3D face transplanting. Alec Murak has been able to transplant the face of Rika, of the original Rika, and captured her somewhere, imprisoned her somewhere, and then used it to translate onto his own face, in his own face. How it happened is, well, then there was loads of things that happened here. One thing that I want to talk about is like this. First of all, there is a lot of alloy Murak in this story. First of all, he also used a computerized box inside him so to transmission any of the original voice that he used to have into the voice con voice commissioner the sound commissioner to make it look and sound like Rika and that's how Eric got fired see and that is where I really, really want to talk about. That's where I really want to end the summary of the story. Now, I want to say here that George and a Blue Moon, the all the things that happen in this book are sci-fi, all right? It's literally impossible. Making Cosmos the world's most, most strongest computer and controllable strongest computer, as you can say. Impossible. Quantum computer and able to control it and making quantum teleportation. Impossible for now. And then there are loads and loads of other things that I want to talk about here, but we can't put them in because I only have 10 minutes. But I'm going to shorten them. Second of all, I want to talk about here in the George and the Blue Moon ends at the open ending. It ends with George saying, This is my whole life! I'm going to go into space, Annie! And then they blasted off. And that's how the book ended. There wasn't even a little picture of, them, of the rocket getting blasted off. Picture getting blasted off. And turns out, in the next book, we'll be learning about what will happen in the next book, George and the Ship of Time. So yeah, stay tuned for that episode. Now, that is basically it 
for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Shunhan out. Peace.